Hey guys, sorry for Chloe's extreme texting in the background. I'm an extreme texter! But I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Um, so basically, I got something and I wanted to show it to you guys. And then I wanted to tell something about it. And then show you guys a comic that I made. So for those of you who play Fun at Freddy's. Then, of course, you're going to know what this is. Yeah, I know. So, it's the marionette. For those of you who don't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, it's a keychain. That's why I have it on my backpack. And my hair is in the way, sorry. But it's tiny, and it doesn't have thumbs. Um, I actually got it from Vanessa. Vanessa gave it to me, um, because she got two in a blind bag, and so she chose Bonnie. This is my backpack. Wow. Amazing. So, yeah. Please excuse all the noise in the background, but this is my drawing folder, for those of you who don't know. It's a moose with glasses. So I do a lot of comics, but there's one in specific, and I'll be right back. So I'll review like the hidden screens and stuff like that afterwards, but this is the comic that I made. So it starts out with me and Vanessa, and we're hiding underneath the desk. Um, in her eyes it says FML because her eyes always symbolize what she's thinking and the comic for some reason. So I'm wearing the security guard outfit and she's wearing the security guard hat. Where are you? And the music box is sounding. Wait, hold on. The puppet has no thumbs! We start laughing. Wait, what? Oh, FML. Ugh, what the heck? Oh god dang it. There's a beaver. And then she jumps scares off. So for the extras, there's the beaver. Um, she wrote in no on it. Um, yes, she was trying to grab a gun, but then she realized, oh wait, I can't trigger that. Um, there's an anime reference right there. I don't know why I do that. I just do. Okay, don't question me. Also, I have a question. Um, and I'm gonna let you guys answer this. If the marionette is a guy, then is the soul possessed in it? Like, is the animatronic supposed to be a girl and then the soul possessed in it is a guy? Is a guy? Because the reason I think this is because the marionette is wearing lipstick. If you look in the game, if you look on this thing, it's wearing lipstick. And I find that kind of feminine. Anyone else? No one? Wow. Okay then. So yeah, tell me what you think of the comic and stuff and holy crap that almost fell. Tell me what you think of this horrible video. Let me guess, it's horrible? Okay, I already know. 